Following on from the previous video, I showed you how sine x plus 90 is equal to cos, and cos of x minus 90 must be sine. So we could have a question that asks us to find the general solution degrees uh, of sine of x plus 30 is equal to cos of 70, for example. And we can use these facts to help us here. Because if cos of 7, if uh, we're looking at cos of 70, so cos of 70, then this is the same as sine of 70 plus 90, so sine of 160. Okay? And we can use that now, because if we've got sine of x plus 30 is sine of 160, then inversing sine both sides, x plus 30 must be equal to 160. Okay? But remember, we are using, uh, we're trying to find the general solution. So we're going to put in 360n plus 160, and we're going to put in x plus 30 is 360n plus 180 minus 160. So that's plus 20. So that's 180 minus the 160. You can then take 30 from both sides, so x is 360n plus 130, or x is 360n plus, oh sorry, minus 10. And these two solutions will generate all of the solutions uh, for sine of x plus 30 is equal to cos of 70. So that's how we can use these facts to help us solve a problem like that.